guys, it's me, Kruta, and it is Sunday, so we are already on our hike. Hike? Why do I always miss say hike? Unbelievable. Anyway, there has been a slight change of plans. We are not hiking in Ilseniki. Instead, we are back at Moravice, which is a park. And we are gonna hike around an old water canal that was used to deliver wood to a paper mill. Pretty cool. We just came to a spring. There should be many more on this trail, but the water is so clear. I mean, it was obviously man made, but still. The dogs are with us, of course. <laughs> I think they should save some strength for the actual hike. This trail is already turning out pretty nice and we just started. just above the river valley right now we are, we are gonna continue that way but it seems like there is a little vantage point so we are gonna check it out The dogs are very curious. Well, it is a nice view. The dogs are kind of crazy today. <laughs> we are just coming to a little water creek. Very nice, very clear water. I think they missed these little hikes. They seem to be very happy today. There have been storms basically for the last three weeks since we were on vacation and I guess this is the aftermath. That's an aqueduct. It's the part of the water canal that we are gonna walk by later today. So we are walking just above the water canal now and sadly there's no water it's been very dry this year even though it's been raining for the past three weeks and 
That actually makes me sad. So we are finally done with that trail. It was full of rocks, fallen trees and spider webs. It wasn't very nice, but I mean, it is not marked, so not many people probably will walk there. This is where the water canal begins. So this water canal was built in the year 1891 and it was used to get wood to a paper mill. I mean there is water coming into the canal so I don't know why there is no water. We will see. We are going to take a little break here. I am having leftover pizza for snack. like a very nice campsite oh, that looks sweet even a windbreak so this hill here is called Goat's Ridge and some of you might remember that name from my winter hike to go to reach and that's a totally different one the winter one is located in Beskide which is totally different way from here looks like the trail ends here though so we are gonna have to walk back down to the crossroads and finally walk down to the water canal It would have been very nice staying here and making a fire and cooking something. But we didn't bring anything to cook, so... Gotta go. So we are back at the crossroads and it's time to head down to the actual canal, finally. So that's why there is no water in the canal. The floodgate is open. Man, that sucks. I was so excited for this water canal. You can see the end of the tunnel, that's cool. I would love to go there and explore it. So we are gonna follow this canal all the way to the end. I guess that's why there is no water here. They are cleaning the wood after the storms. Now we are back at the aqueduct that we saw earlier. I am pretty sure this one is not the original from 18... 91 but it's pretty cool anyway a bridge for water so we are like in the middle of this canal and we are just right next to a buffet so we are gonna take a break take another break here and get some food that was a cute little food place we got us some sausages and now we are continuing 
along the canal for like two more kilometers. It looks like we are going to drop down and continue inside the canal. So I jumped down here and we just real realized that there are actual stairs down here. It is not so bad after all that there is little to no water here and the best thing is there is a tunnel coming so we are gonna walk inside the tunnel I'm just trying not to die here so there's supposed to be yet another storm today and the wind is already picking up we have like an hour left until we get back to the car, so I don't think we are gonna make it dry today. I was just like, there's some really bad stench here and then this. Oh, that smells so bad. That's the tunnel. I thought it would be a little bit bigger than this, but it's something, I guess. <laughs> Where's the little spider? All right. Let's continue. The storm is getting close now. This is the other end. The dog is trying to get up the wall. He's doing pretty good, but it's just too high. So, this is where we get off the canal. It actually continues all the way to the town of Radec nad Moravici, where there is a hydroelectrical water plant in, st in the place of the old paper mill. But since we are trying to outrun the storm that surely is coming because the wind is really picking up now, we are not going to continue. Instead, we are going to walk that way and try to get back to the car in time because we basically have zero rain gear today. This is what happens when your chihuahuas get wet. Not mountains, but still pretty nice views. This is a part of hiking with Chihuahuas when the terrain gets too overgrown. Final stretch, and we are like 200 meters from the car now. made it in time back to the car that was a bit of a rush but we are here so if you enjoyed today's adventure please like the video 
or subscribe. And I will see you again soon.